what's happening today look today on the podcast is, i'm, I'm going to share with you something that happened to me when i prayed for power you know god has an interesting sense of humor and when we pray he will answer have you ever heard that text or, or heard someone say that that when you pray god will answer well i recently prayed just like you know yesterday when you watch the podcast or if you didn't catch yesterday you got to catch it um one of the questions the bonus question was how do i access your power god and that was when i prayed i was praying out loud on the podcast for power and god answered me literally the next day i'm going to share with you exactly what happened in this episode so let's cue the intro life is precious and we all have the opportunity of living it to the fullest Unfortunately, so few of us know how to manage it all. How do we account for our opportunities? How do we account for our time? How do we account for our relationships, health, spirituality, homes, finances, influence, and careers? How do we account for the one life we have to live? I am so glad you asked. In this program, you will find answers to all of these questions and more. Welcome to the Account for Your Life podcast with your host, the healthy accountant himself, Jay Moore. All right, all right. So, man, yesterday's podcast really, really, really empowered me. I don't know about you, um, but the last question was, how do I access your power, God? And, you know, some personal situations have happened. Has You know, it's, it's interesting when something is supposed to happen in your life, things will happen in your life. Somebody should write that down. When something is supposed to happen in your life, things will happen in your life. And so when I say things will happen, all hell can break loose in your life. Things can start happening around you that you don't want. Situations that that seem like they don't even they they shouldn't even be. They shouldn't even be in like like they shouldn't even be there, but they're there. And so God has God has been testing. God's been testing us. God will God will continue to bring back something to you to see where is your faith. See cuz when we ask God, "Hey God, can you give me some power? Can you give me some of your power?" And he says, "Oh, you want some? Well, do you have any faith? Son, daughter, do you have faith the size of a mustard seed? Just enough. I'm talking about it's so tiny. It's so tiny that 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 you can't see it if I had one in my hand. That's what he wants to know. Can I can I look at you and see the faith? And so as I'm dealing with a personal uh, situation um, just over the weekend, just past weekend, it's interesting how they come up these situations. And I was on a, I would say a semi, semi fast. Not, you know, just kind of like kind of fasting, but not I'm not, I'm not telling anybody I'm on a fast. I wasn't because it was a semi fast. I was testing, I was testing out, testing out how does my body feel when it doesn't eat for 24 hours? You know, it was it wasn't bad. It was actually it was actually pretty good. Yeah, I did get a headache one day, but I realized that I think the headache that I did get was as a result of the situation that was coming down. And so what is what's the tool, right? What is the tool that we have to use when we go into God? It's called what? Say it in the chat for me. It's called prayer. See. What is prayer? Prayer is that moment when we communicate, when we um, talk to our partner, when we have a relationship. We're just talking about everything, you know. Uh, sometimes you're asking for stuff. Sometimes you're just letting known, you know, the thoughts that's in your heart. Like when I'm talking to my wife, sometimes I'm just talking, talking, talking. She's like, "Oh my God, I heard this before." I just can't help it. I just, I just want to lay it all out. I just want to keep talking about the things that's on my heart. So when, that's a relationship. So when you go into God and you're praying, you're going to God as someone who has a relationship with someone. And so a situation comes up and I'm, I'm going to him. And one of the things that I've discovered in going to God is not really having to just go to him. Meaning I'm always in him. And so if I'm always in him, I don't have to like keep 
pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing for it. You're just in him. And then when you make known your supplications, I'm like, hey, you know, ask for, I ask for power. And I remember the story. I remember the story in the Bible where the disciples could not, they could not heal the boy. The father brings the boy who's demon possessed and all kind of stuff is happening with the kid. And the disciples are there and they're like, cast, get out of there. And the demon is like, <laughs> you guys are no match for me. And I'm going to tell you, sometimes that's how it feels when you come up against things that you that you know you should be able to have authority over. And then you don't feel that you have the authority or the or it doesn't work because it says in that scripture. It's in Matthew. I think it's in Matthew and Mark. It says in this Matthew 17, I believe it's in Matthew. Yes, it's in Matthew. So. It says in that scripture that when Jesus came, the father went to Jesus and says, hey, look, your disciples, they haven't been able to heal my son. My son is demon possessed. Hey, do you think you can do it? The, the first thing that Jesus said was like, I mean, seriously, you guys, like you guys don't have enough faith to get rid of this thing. And so after Jesus wreck, basically like called them out, like, hey, man, your lack of faith is why you didn't do it. And then Jesus cast out that demon that day. And so when I think about when I think about like this power that we're asking God for, what does it require us to do? What does it require us to feel? It requires us to Having knowing and something that is not visible to the physical eye. See, here's here's the problem that we're going to just put out there today. The problem that we have is that we're relying on our physical eyes and not relying on our inner eye. Our inner eye is the eye that we can see with God. Because if I can see it, then I don't have to have faith. Meaning, if I can touch these glasses on my desk, if I can touch this notebook on my desk, then I don't have to have faith that that is possible. I can just go buy a notebook. It's already been created. Glasses have already been made. I don't have to have any faith. But it's things that cannot be seen with the physical eye that is more real than these things. So yesterday when I prayed, because I said I was going to tell you what happened when I prayed for power, I prayed for power and I know that God gave me power. And then this morning in my devotion time, I'm working out and I do devotion and I do devotion and working out at the same time. In my devotion time, he shared with me how faith works. He shared with me where I may have been lacking. He shared with me the process I could use. He I'm, I'm talking about when you pray for power, when you ask God for something that's worthy, I didn't ask God for, hey, give me power so I can be strong. I didn't ask him so I can be strong. I know how to get strong in my body. I asked him to give me power so that I can push this power out of me so that I can help this one and help that one and bring forth your name's honor and glory. So I ask for it. See, sometimes we get misdirected with asking, Lord, I need to pay these bills, Lord. Oh, Lord, I need to get, I want to get this car, Lord. I want to get this house, Lord. I want to get all these things and stuff. And one of the things that the reason why you, the reason why I don't have the things that I want is because I didn't plan for them. Man, I, I was thinking about some things we wanted to do with the house. I says, wow, the reason why I don't have these things is because I have not planned for them. Not, oh, I need, not the money part. It's well, okay. Say for instance, hey, if you want to, if you wanted a new room or something like that, then if you got a new one, if you got to, what are you gonna do with the stuff you got in there? 
you got to start planning for it. Like he's like, you got to start seeing it to the point where you got to remove, you have to remove things so you can add things, but you can't add them if you still got stuff cluttered in the way. I said, man, I was convicted. I said, I got too many things cluttered. I got too many things around me that I need to move out. I need to push out. And then I have to use my eye so that I can see what I really want. Man, I've got things sitting around. I just got to get rid of them. See, when we pray, let me ask God for power. You know, I have some notes that I took down from Dr. Miles over the weekend. And one of the things that he was sharing, he was sharing like this process of when you're baptized, like in your, when you're baptized, because when you're baptized in the spirit, you're supposed to get power. And he shared a few things. He, and what he said, said was um, when you're baptized, uh, you know, or the Holy Spirit, no, he says the baptism in the in the Holy Spirit is given is given out to is given to get us to is not get, I'm sorry I, I, my handwriting is terrible. The baptism in the Holy Spirit is given is given out. Man, why did I write that like that? Get us to heaven. Is given not okay. There it is. Is given not to get us to heaven. But to help us live on earth. My handwriting is terrible. Read that again. The baptism in the Holy Spirit is given not to get us to heaven, but to help us to live on earth. And so when I wrote that down, like I just was taking notes, and, and as I'm and as I reflected right now, as I'm thinking about this power, we need the power. We need the power so that we can live effectively here on earth. And to, I'm not going to just say too many of us, me personally, me personally, sometimes I'm not living effectively here on earth. I'm not focused enough on what it is that's most important. I may be kind of like over here, over here, when if we're thinking about the power, then we got to write down, what is it that we really want? What can I really see? What is the vision? Is it clear? Is it clear? Have I fully imagined it? Like, like all, like all of the vision that I know that is within me, am I acting on it? See, action is what makes the power fortified. You've got to act. There's things you have to do. We've got to allow God to do what he's going to do, right? See, God can only do what we can't. So if there's something that we have to do or, or there's something that we can do, we have to do it. That's called acting in faith. I'm going to do these things. I'm going to act in faith as if it's going to happen or, or as if it's already happened. You know, when we look at the word faith and we... Look at the biblical definition of it. Now faith is. So in the moment right now, this is what it is. Now faith is the substance. What is that? Substance is something physical. Substance, which I heard one, one speaker say, it's the things that you stand on. Meaning sub is underneath, right? So these things are underneath you and you get to stand on them. So that means that if if I want something, I wanted a car for Jenny. I had to stand on the fact that I knew that the car was beneath me. I knew that knew that that was that 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 was nothing because it's underneath. The substance, I'm standing on it, you know, and, and I'm hoping for this outcome. See, faith, that mustard seed faith, Jesus is talking about, oh, you'd be able to move a mountain. Well, well, see, we get so twisted. See, because the because the way that the, the writer wrote that, he says you'd be able to move mountains. You don't believe, and I don't believe that I'm going to go out and move an actual mountain. That's a problem for us because in the physical, they use a physical mountain and we immediately drew a picture of a mountain that says, there's no way I can move a mountain. Come on now, seriously, think about it. It says that you, if you had the faith of a mustard seed, you would move a mountain. 
if God, <laughs> Aha! if that's what God wanted. Now, here's the thing, though, but still it's a mountain. So remember, we we are human beings and we think in pictures. So the moment we see the picture, there's we have to reconcile the picture with what we're seeing. So now I'm looking at the mountain. I've seen mountains before. I've seen them. That mountain is pretty big. Okay, that's not going to move. So we don't have that faith. We immediately discount the fact that these big things in our life are probably not going to happen. But let's take it a step further before we get out of here today. The mountain are the all the circumstances in your life. Think about it. It's it's the financial. It's the it's the health. It's the you know the ministry things, the business things. It's the marital things. Like all the things, all the problems, all the circumstances. Just think about it. Like these are all the mountains. These are all the giants in our life. And so when we look at all the giants in our life, man, I always wanted this. I always wanted this. Now think about something that you always wanted to accomplish and you it just haven't happened. Like I always wanted to have this, 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 and this. And that's a mountain. So that means that, oh, but if God wants me to have that mountain because of what I'm doing, then he has to give it to me. He's going to give it to me. Like, like if that's the result, it has to happen. So I, I don't have to look at the mountain and say that's not possible. I have to look at the mountain and say, well, well, if if that's the result of me working. Jesus said, I do what I see my father doing. So think about the mountains now. If you see your father moving mountains, if you see your father doing something, then that's what you do. And it's no longer a mountain. It's the size of a mustard seed because you're like, that's nothing. Hence, when we get, when these circumstances come in our life and these, I'm talking about, they look big. I've never accomplished that before. But now I say, that is why I was born. I was born to testify and to witness of the power of the Most High God. And should that be one of the things that he'll have me do, it's going to move. There's nothing in my life that will not happen that God already said, that, and I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna block God, I'm gonna move boldly towards it. This, is, this has been my personal issue and problem. I've allowed a mountain to stand tall in my life when I am bigger and taller than that mountain. I was thinking this morning as we close. I was thinking this morning because I was praying last week about, I was asking God to bring out of me this knack, this something that's so natural, something that's so me, so I can help people. As I was in devotion today and he's pouring, God's allowing the word to be poured in. He showed me something. And he says, be bold. Make the claim. Be my witness. See, when you pray for power, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. You will be test to be bold. I'm going to say some things this week that I've never said before. And I realized why that's for another video. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to, I'm just going to tell you that maybe tomorrow's video. I realized why I realized something. And maybe this is the pivotal week. This is a leap year guys. Thursday. It's a leap. The 29th is a leap. There's power. There's power happening right now. I'm going to share with you, I'm going to boldly share with you some things about where God has taken us in 2024 and beyond. But here's the thing. Are you praying for power today? Are you looking at the mountains 
in your life? And are you realizing that those mountains are merely as small as mustard seeds? Are you saying to yourself, why would I even, why would I even second guess? If that is what God wants for me, can I see God? Is this is where God ta- is this is where God is God taking me here? If that's where God is going to take you, it's already yours. Your job is to do whatever you see your father doing each and every day. That's why we're here today. That's why this podcast is here, because I see my father speaking these words. Hence, the words come out of my mouth. And this is what happened when I prayed for power. He showed up and the power is within me. So, guys, I thank you for joining me for this episode of the Account for Life podcast. If you really are looking for power, stay connected to this podcast, not to me, because this is the this is the word of God coming out of my life. And I pray that whatever you hear, whatever you see will ignite the power within you. God bless you. And I will see you on the next episode. Peace. Thanks for joining us, listening friends. We are so glad you invested this time with us. Always remember, you only have one life to live. So live it to the fullest. This has been the Account for Your Life podcast with your host, the healthy accountant himself, Jay Moore. Until next time, Make it a great day.